always lived in houses built by modernist masters. Modernist masters. Why does Hollywood insist on destroying the city by numbers, by natural disasters? What kind of disasters? An elemental earthquake, a furnace of a fire. A rippling rainstorm, nuclear bombs, or Martians from the future. A dithering police force. A mutant sprung from a cage. A giant half man who's a frustrated actor on a spitball rampage. Are you gonna stand for a time? You could put a face to every crime. And the violence was as wholesome as it was imaginative, baby. How would you feel? Frank Lloyd Wright built a whole lot of bungalows. Rudy Sugar and Neutra, they had a great big falling out. Two great architects, I'll tell you what that was all about. It's something absent in design, where the heart is matched by the line. And all you got is the reflection of what's on the outside. And pure, all, all these houses look the same, uniform of skin in every frame. You would think about a lot of things, waiting for the concrete to cure. I've been thinking a lot about action movies of the 1980s, particularly Die Hard. Die Hard! Which seems to illustrate so many of the anxieties central to a time and place. Again, for example. Japanese capital, the waning of the Cold War, pride in a downtown. Risen from the ashes, a hovel once great neighborhood. All the ghosts of Bunker Hill, who needs history? Was history ever any good? Are you nostalgic for the time when art and colors took the line? And entertainment had an easy smile as it looked upon you too. Back then, Bruce Willis had some hair. He smoked in airports, no one cared. And in the end, Alan Rickman fell out of a window. Boom. Are you nostalgic for the time? You could put a face to every crime. You could let us 